Greetings to everyone. Uh, I am Jerlin Ajit Davidson. So today we are going to uh, discuss about the topic uh, Smart Antennas uh, from the Unit 5 of Wireless Networks. So now, first we are going to see how the smart antennas are discovered right so in the first cellular radio systems uh, the base stations were equipped with uh, omnidirectional antennas right so omnidirectional means it uh, radiates in a uh, single direction right so it, it has some amplitude pattern right so because of this uh, only a small percentage of the total energy will reach the desired user right so only a small percentage will reach the re desired user and the remaining energy will be uh, radiated in uh, different directions right so the remaining radiation uh, energy as will be uh, wasted right so this diagram uh, shows the uh, how the uh, smart under sorry uh, how the uh, omnidirectional antennas radiation pattern will be right so so in this coverage pattern will be uh, in one one way only one direction this uh, uh, dark uh, colored area is the coverage pattern and the remaining end all the uh, shows that energy has been wasted right so so to overcome this uh, drawback so uh, so they have some solutions uh, they introduce some solutions uh, that the a single cell is divided into several smaller cells Right, so it is sub subdivided into smaller cells, and this uh, technique is known as uh, cell splitting. Right, uh, so uh, that is the congested uh, single cell is divided into mi uh, micro cells. Right, so that smaller cells are called uh, micro cells, and these micro cells will have uh, their own base stations. Right, so uh, hence uh, here we can uh, avoid. Uh, the wastage of energy to some extents right so uh, and uh, uh, in this uh, cell splitting a uh, disadvantage is there that is uh, for the installation of the new base stations uh, the cost required will be very high right so that is uh, yeah so for each micro cells we need a separate uh, base stations so the cost required to install this uh, uh, new base station is high right so hence they uh, uh, go for a sectorized system right so sectorized system means uh, it provide more uh, frequencies per coverage area right and uh, how this uh, uh, sectorized system is formed means the uh, in the first, in the earlier cellular networks it have omnidirectional antennas right so, but here the omnidirectional antennas at the base station are uh, replaced with several directional antennas, right? So, uh, that means uh, uh, the cell is sectorized into three sectors, right? So, the cell, uh, the, the coverage area. So, cell, cell is nothing but the coverage area of a coverage area, right? So, the coverage area is sectorized into three sectors and uh, uh, the each sector will have uh, 120 degree uh, angle each right so next is so the diagram shows the uh, sectorized antennas right so in the uh, base station and how the sectorized antennas has been placed right and also uh, uh, this sectorized uh, cell sectoring or the sectorized system uh, did not provide the adequate solution for the uh, needed for the capacity problem Right, so capacity, uh, uh, it, it it will not provide the, it doesn't provide the required solution, right? So therefore, uh, we need a uh, system uh, that could uh, dynamically change the pattern of the antennas, or a, a system that could uh, dynamically sectorize a cell. We need a system like that. So for that only the smart antennas have been discovered so this uh, smart antennas are nothing but arrays of antenna elements right so that it changes the antenna pattern dynamically 
to adjust the noise and interference in the channels right so uh, due to this uh, uh, we call the antenna system as smart that is the uh, smart antennas are not smart uh, that is in the digital signal processors along with the antennas will make the system smart right and uh, smart antenna system is nothing but it is an extension of uh, cell sectoring right so the sector coverage is composed of uh, multiple beams right uh, here the smart antenna uh, uh, so this diagram shows how the uh, smart antennas uh, uh, avoids the interference right so it will uh, uh, get the uh, signal from the desired uh, speaker to the towards the uh, towards the human and avoids the uh, unwanted uh, noise from the unwanted speakers right so and there uh, based on the beam forming already i told uh, smart antenna tech is a uh, uh, array, array of elements or array of antenna elements which uh, changes the antenna pattern dynamically right so here this uh, based on the beam forming the smart antenna system is divided into two types right so that is switched beam antenna system and the second one is adaptive array antenna system so already we, we know that uh, the smart antenna techniques are nothing but it is the extension of cell sectoring and uh, each sector is again subdivided into smaller sectors here in switched beam antenna system the each sector is again divided into smaller sectors right and uh, here uh, when the mobile unit that is the the user having the mobile device moves throughout the cell right the switched beam uh, will uh, detect the signal strength and continuously switches the beam as necessary that is uh, uh, the a single coverage area that is a single uh, cell is divided into multiple sectors having uh, multiple beams so if a user is moving from a sing, uh, a, a, from a, a, a moving inside a cell means uh, for example the beam pattern will be uh, several beams will be there right so if you if he is moving uh, from one beam to the another beam means this uh, technique will switches the beam uh, for the user to continue the signal provide uh, signals uh, that is to continue the service for the user right so the the goal of the switched beam uh, system is to increase the gain Right. So to increase the gain according to the location of the user. Right. So here it is shown. Uh, the, here uh, in this shaded uh, beam uh, location, the user is there. So if the user is moving uh, from, if the user is moving from here this here to here means the beam will be switched. Right. So the uh, the beam will be switched to the user that is the, this beam will be given to the user to continue the service provided to the user likewise if he is moving along uh, here around here means the it, it, the beam pattern will be switched for the user as he is moving around the cell and next uh, and the next second a technique or a second second method of smart antenna is adaptive array antenna systems right so here adaptive array antenna system means so in the earlier uh, uh, type the beam pattern is uh, fixed so we cannot modify but here in the adaptive antenna ar ar array system can customize the radio pattern for an individual user right the customize or it can modify the pattern for the user so in the earlier pattern it cannot modify the beam pattern here it can able to modify the radio uh, radiation pattern right 
and also it it can able to uh, locate and track the signals of the users and the uh, interferers right and uh, to enhance the reception uh, for as that is for example for a uh, user to enhance the reception of the signal the uh, it will uh, the adaptive antenna array system will dynamically adjust the antenna pattern right so to uh, enhance the reception and it will fully reject the interference using the signal processing algorithms right and this shows the uh, radio radiation pattern uh, using the switched beam and adaptive array and an radiation pattern right so here it uh, the beam patterns in the switched scheme the beam pattern is uh, fixed whereas when the uh, user moves from one location to the another location the beam will be switched right so accordingly the beams will be switched for the user but in the case of uh, adaptive array radiation pattern uh, the same uh, the single beam can be extended or modified uh, or enhanced to continue the signal uh, strength of the user to uh, to continue the service of the uh, user as well as it will uh, reject the uh indifference completely right that is if the if the user is located with this within this uh, beam beam pattern or the radiation pattern means so if he is moving along means this beam pattern can be extended or enhanced right so to uh, continuously provide the enhanced version of the reception of uh, signal right so that is the difference between switched beam and adaptive array and na radiation uh, and na methods right so this shows the block diagram of adaptive and na adaptive array and na right so here uh, the signal is received and then it is uh, the analog signal is converted into digital and finally uh, the interferences are uh, rejected using some signal processing algorithms using the digital signal processors and then the output signal is uh, here it is given right so comparison between adaptive uh, uh, sorry switched beam array and uh, adaptive array right so in the switched beam the it has less coverage uh, whereas in the adaptive array and an pattern uh, it has more coverage right and uh, uh, so re regarding interference right so the switched beam array has low interference rejection whereas uh, the adaptive array system has high interference rejection right so next uh, it shows the uh, receiver of a smart antenna right so uh, these are the array of antennas this uh, of the array of antennas which receives the signals and next uh, here is it is the signal processing units that is digital signal processor processes that are that uses the uh, processing algorithms to reduce the interference right so and this is the beam forming network right so that uh, we have seen uh, different beams in the uh, in both the systems so this is the beam forming network and uh, so the, this totally constitutes the uh, uh, receiver of a smart antenna And next is the smart antenna uh, transmitter, right? So here, uh, here also that is a different array of antennas are there, and uh, the beam, this is the beam forming network, and here there is a digital signal processing uh, unit, right? So this as like uh, totally the reverse structure of the receiver. And uh, space division multiple access. Uh, so this is the uh, space division uh, multiple access is also a technology of smart antenna. And here uh, that uh, SDMA or space division multiple access means uh, more than one user can be allocated to the same uh, communication channel in the same cell. 
and simultaneously seriya so uh, that is uh, more than one user can be allocated to the communication channel in the same cell simultaneously so that is called space division multiple access right so this diagram shows uh, this yellow uh, shaded region so right so uh, three different uh, users are there and they are using the same time and frequency and uh, they are using the same channel in the same cell simultaneously so that is what space division multiple access right so the benefits of smart antenna so the benefits are uh, the primary reason of the uh, of, uh, introducing the smart antenna is it it increases the capacity right and next uh, uh, benefit is it provides the increase of range right so that is uh, how it uh, increases the range means uh, it uses more directional antennas right and also uh, uh, sectorized antennas than omnidirectional antennas right so in the earlier cases and all in the earlier uh, cellular network omnidirectional antenna will be there so that the uh, the range of the network will be very less but here it uses directional antennas and sectorized antennas so that uh, it can increase the range of the system right so another advantage is of the uh, smart antenna technology is that it uh, provides the security uh, it is a secure uh, way of communication and uh, next advantage is it can able to locate the humans so in case of emergencies right so if it is needed means it can able to track and locate the humans right so next is the applications of the uh, smart antenna techniques so it is up, uh, used in the cellular and wireless network uh, and uh, and also it is uh, used in satellite uh, systems right also the smart antenna technique is uh, divided into uh, four types that is single input single output system and uh, that is uh, next is single input multiple output system and multiple input multiple uh, output system and multiple input single output system so how this name is given means uh, so single input single output system means in the uh, transmitter side there is only one transmitting antenna and also in the receiving side there is one receiving antenna so hence it is called single input single output system and next single output is input and sing, uh, multiple sorry single input and multiple output system means the transmitting side there will be a sing, one transmitting antenna and in the receiver side there will be multiple receiving antennas hence it is called single input multiple output system right so next is multiple output sing, multiple input single output system right so the mul multiple input means the transmitting side multiple transmitter antennas are there and in the receiver side there is only one uh, receiving antenna is there hence it is called multiple input and multiple output sorry multiple input single output system right and the last case is multiple input as well as multiple output system right so mi mo right so that is uh multiple input means it uses multiple transmitter antennas and in the receiver side it uses multiple receiver antennas so hence it is named as m multiple input multiple output system right so in abbreviation we can call single input single uh, output system as siso and multiple input uh, multiple input single output system as miso system and single input multiple output system as simo system and multiple input multiple output system as mimo system right so these are the different methods are the different uh, uh, techniques of smart antenna right so that's all and about the smart antenna smart antenna is nothing but Uh, an array of elements which replaces the omnidirectional antenna 
and uh, it can pro increase the capacity it can increases the range of the system uh, and also this array of elements can be uh, what it, it can the radiation pattern of the smart antennas can be changed dynamically accordingly to increase the uh, research, uh, coverage of the user right so that is smart antenna system and the drawbacks is here uh, that the transceivers uh, that is the transmitter and the receiver are more complex than the traditional transceivers right? so the structure of the transceiver is somewhat complex when compared to the traditional uh, transceivers and uh, this uh, smart antenna technique is uh, has a very powerful uh, digital signal processes right so uh, so so to uh, include this digital signal processes and all the cost uh, required will be very high right so this will increases the system cost system cost right so these two are the uh, drawbacks of the smart antenna system thank you